we're opening up Yu-Gi-Oh's next big set. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. And today we're cracking open the set that is coming to the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG in November. It is the Rarity Collection, the Quarter Century Edition. This is the set that has 50 million beautiful reprints. And we got different rarities for Ash Blossom, Nibiru, Baron de Flor. Just so many iconic cards from the last few years that are coming in so many different rarities. I mean, collector's rares, ultimate rares. We even have, well, they actually haven't confirmed it yet, but we could even get Ash Blossom in a ghost rare, since that's what the OCG has. So let's go ahead, we're going to dive on in, see what we can pull, and uh, hopefully we get these same cards when it comes to the TCG. And of course, before we dive into that, we have another giveaway. So go ahead and like the video, be subscribed, with that notification bell rang. Comment down below, what are you guys most excited for out of the Rarity Collection? There's a lot, you know, one of the uh, the big underdog cards that we got most excited for is that new Ultimate Rare technology for Mass Hero Dark Loss. That's going to look pretty slick, if I do say so myself. Let's see what we can get, see what we can pull in that uh, quarter century rarity spot. You know, so far we've gotten a... Uh, a Pot of Desires, we've gotten the Artifact Lancia as well too, so there's uh, there's definitely more that we could pull in that uh, in that slot. So we get what? 15 packs in here? Yep, 15 packs, so let's see what we can get. It's our third time opening this set, so you know, it's, uh, it's definitely one of those, those big ones, one of those cool ones. All right, let's see. What can we get? What can we pull out of here? The first pack of the set. All right, so we got Numeron Dragon. So pretty much all these cards that we're going to be seeing in here, we will see in the TCG version. So so we've been told so far. The only card I believe we're not getting is Max C. So I guess that uh, kind of sucks for anyone that wants that to uh, go out the ban list anytime soon. Uh, Danger Jackalope, Small World as an Ultra Rare, and Summon Limit in the nice uh, Prismatic Secrets rarity spots. So a lot of good staple cards in here. A lot of the hand traps, uh, some cards that, you know, maybe some people didn't really want to see uh, reprinted quite so soon. Uh, Code Talker, I believe, Inverted, that is. Pot of Desires, very nice. Oh, and there we go, our first one, an ultimate rare Lava Golem. That is beautiful. Oh, man. That is beautiful. Oh, baby. And a nice prismatic Drago Stapelius. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve out for that. Very nice, very nice. Definitely a, a good one. Definitely a good one to get. Let's see. What else? What else do we got in here? Now, Lava Golem, that's one that was going up in price pretty uh, consistently. So people are going to like to see that uh, reprinted like five times in here. <laughs> so we got uh, Dengirsu. That's going to look slick as a collector's. Uh, Samoon. Blackwing. Oh, baby, the collector's rare. Pot of Prosperity. I think I've pulled a collectors of this before. By the end of all this, we might have a playset. Jeez. Nice. Beautiful. That's just crazy. That is crazy to me. And then a, uh, I believe it's like a water card or something. I don't, I don't really know what that card is. That's one that uh, really escapes my mind. But all right, a pot of prosperity right after a lava golem. That is nice. That is nice. I mean, hopefully we get, uh, you know, like a ratio like this when, uh, when this comes out. All right, let's see, let's see. What else can we get out of here? So we got a uh, Crusadia, a uh, Tour Guide. That's going to look pretty slick with some rarity upgrades. 
Uh, Forbidden Droplet, that's definitely one that everyone wants to see uh, reprinted a few more times, okay. Oh, baby, and the, uh, I believe this is called the Extra Secret Rare for the Nightmare Unicorn, but it looks fantastic. Oh, man, the Link Monsters look great with this. I am okay with that. I know in the past we've gotten uh, Inspector Border as this, and the uh, Track Tricks monster that's in here. Very nice. Very nice indeedy. I'll take that, I'll take that. Because I've got some bangers in the last uh, last three. Banger after banger after banger. So, Borrowload Savage. It's, that's one I'd actually kind of like to see in the extra secret, personally. Uh, Spellbook of Judgment. Oh, baby! And the ultimate rare, Raw Spear Mode. Very nice. Now, this is something that we got in the Ghost Rare, so it really makes you wonder if that's gonna, you know, if that's gonna affect the pricing when uh, when all these come out. Very nice. And then a uh, preparation of rights. All right. That might be pre-prep. I'm not. I'm not too sure. All right. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're we're doing we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. We got uh, basically two kaiju's and uh, good old pot. So, Time Thief Redoer, uh, Ghost Bell, Haunted Mansion, and Nibiru, very nice, as an Ultra Rare. Okay, okay. And a Dimensional Prison? Or no, that's uh, Dimensional Barrier. Or Prison. It's Dimensional something. I know, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the two right now. It's one of them, I know. I know for sure. I think that's, I think that's D Barrier. That's definitely not deeper than how I think about it. Alright, Junk Speeder, very nice. The Iris Sword Soul, okay, very cool, very cool. Infinite Impermanence, that's gonna be one that's uh, definitely up there in terms of Collector's Rare, Ultimate Rare, all those kinds of things. Oh, baby! And in the 25th Century Secret Rare, Dark Ruler No More, this thing looks bonkers oh baby that is crazy all right we'll take it you know what that's that's gotta be a step up from uh from lancia from before jeez and the fact that we're gonna be getting like all these cards as a potential in that rarity is just absolutely outstanding to me i mean man no, people aren't the biggest fans because it kind of diluted a few of the uh, Starlights, especially since Konami, I don't know, they decided to reprint some in the 25th that were already Starlights, but uh, I don't know, I like them. They look amazing. So we got the uh, Trap Tricks thingy, uh, Fossil Dig. Oh, baby, there we go. Collector's Rare Infinite Impermanence. I was just saying how this would look amazing. Oh, baby. Baby, that is amazing. All right, and a uh, prismatic call by the grave. All right. Oh, baby, we are getting the fire staples out of this box, man. Now if we could just pull that uh that holographic rare uh, ash blossom or Nibiru, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, decode like Heat Soul, I believe his name is. Uh, super rare, Dark Ruler no more, very nice. Uh, Inspector Border, very cool. I think that's just yeah, just an ultra. And then Harpy's Feather Storm. That is a deep prismatic. Okay. So even as just a normal, not <laughs> high rarity pack, still still has some fire in there. Still has some ammo. So full armor, photon dragon, uh, reasoning. Oh, baby! The Ultimate Rare Lone Fire Blossom! Very nice! It's definitely gonna be a fun one. Ooh, and then Prismatic Lightning Storm. Very nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's definitely... It's gonna be a fun set. It's definitely gonna be a, uh, a fun set. Especially for Edison stuff. <laughs> like Lone Fire. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What else can we get in here? So we got a Selene. That's gonna look very good in a higher. Uh, Pot of Extra, very cool. Dimensional Shifter, I know everyone loves that. 
And then a prismatic evenly match. So I know everyone's definitely going to be loving that one. All right. Only a few packs left. Let's see. All right, we got we got quite a lot already. So let's see what else we can get out of here. Maybe another collector is another ultimate. Uh, Red Ice Flare Metal. Uh, Vision Hero Ferris. Very nice. Max C. Okay. Ooh, and then a Triple Tactics Talent. That's definitely one people are going to be happy about getting a reprint. So it's still kind of up there in price. You know, the spike getting reprinted a few times. All right, let's see. We got uh, three packs left, including this one. So we got Harold, uh, Rhoda. That's actually gonna look pretty slick with some some rarity upgrades. Okay. Oh baby, and a nice Baron de Fleur. Nice ultra rare. Okay, okay. And a forbidden droplet. Now that's a hell of a pack. If uh, do say so myself. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, let's see. Second to last pack. Can we get one more collectors or ulti? Can it be something fire? Something that we haven't seen before. Something that's really up there. So we got uh, Winda. Uh, Lancia. Oh, baby, and the collector's rare. Small world. This might actually be one that we've gotten before. We might have gotten is your collectors or ultimate rare. And then a uh, Shadal Schism, I believe that is. All right, need some uh, sleevage on there. All right, all right. So last pack, can we get some last pack magic on this one or not? Let's see. All right, so we got Striker Dragon, okay. Magicalized Fusion, and Change of Heart, all right. It's actually going to be pretty fun to see in uh, some higher rarities over here. And then ending on a prismatic Masked Hero Dark Law, who I said I'm pretty hyped up for, coming out in Ultimate and Collectors and 25th. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So there you have it, guys. That is the Rarity Collection. That's what we're going to be getting in, uh, in November in November so it's gonna be pretty cool you know everything in there supposedly supposedly everything in there minus max C of course but I guess that kind of gives you a solid indicator that it's not getting off the band list anytime soon but hey you never know you know uh, max gold got spoiled and I had harpy's feather duster in there and then sure enough feather duster came off the band list so I guess you never really know with Konami and what tricks they might have up their sleeves but hey, let me know down below. What are you guys most excited for about this set? What card are you most excited for? What rarity do you want to see it in? You know, there's there's a lot of cards in this set, as we've seen, and they come in a lot of different rarities. But of course, be sure to check out those links down below. Be sure to check out the Etsy store. Check out rpkgaming.com. Use that TCG player link as well, too. Especially if you're going to be... Uh, ordering any of this stuff off there yeah yeah but we'll see you guys on the next one goodbye and good night